Hi, my name is Shelley Inkford Trebebach, ALK lung cancer patient and advocate. Hi, my name is Dr. Alice Shaw. I'm a medical oncologist and director of thoracic oncology at Massachusetts General Hospital. Today we're going to further our discussion about the ALK positive and talk about treatment options. So how is um, ALK positive typically treated? So typically patients who are diagnosed with advanced, uh, meaning metastatic, ALK positive lung mm -hmm. cancer are treated uh, with ALK targeted therapies or what we call tyrosine kinase inhibitors, sometimes TKIs. Mm -hmm. And the field has actually moved very, very quickly the last 10 years, so we actually have numerous different ALK targeted therapies, which is great news for patients. So can any stage of ALK positive lung cancer patient receive targeted therapy? Well, the approvals and the testing has, has all really all been done in patients who have advanced or metastatic mm -hmm. disease, stage four disease, and that means the cancer has spread outside the, the lung. So how about immunotherapy? Is that an option for ALK positive lung cancer patients? So in theory, immunotherapy is an option. Immunotherapies are approved for non-small cell lung cancer. Mm -hmm. um, but what we've seen over the years is that ALK positive patients tend to respond less well to checkpoint inhibitors such as pembrolizumab and nivolumab when they're giving, given by themselves. Mm -hmm. And that likely reflects the fact that ALK positive lung cancers are different than sort of the standard type of mm -hmm. non-small cell lung cancers. As we talked about before, most patients are never smokers or light smokers. These are not cancers that have accumulated a lot of mutations over the years. In fact, they tend to be simpler tumors mm -hmm. from a mutation standpoint, and we believe that that's sort of the underlying reason why the immune system can't recognize the ALK-positive lung cancers as well, and why these drugs like pembrolizumab and nivolumab on their own do mm -hmm. not work as well for ALK-positive patients. But that we do sense. now have combinations of chemotherapy and immunotherapy, mm -hmm. particularly with pembrolizumab, and there is hope that these combinations of chemo and immunotherapy may be helpful to uh, you know, ALK-positive mm -hmm. patients as well as other never-smoking patients as well. Are there, <clears throat> excuse me, are there ever any combinations between immunotherapy and targeted therapies? So we have actually tested that, so yeah. there have been a number of combinations. And you know, I think our concern so far has been that it's not clear that adding the immunotherapy to the targeted therapy is so making beneficial. it work better, yeah. but what we definitely are seeing um, is a higher rate of toxicity when we combine targeted therapy and immunotherapy. So that is something that we're concerned about. I think there will be ongoing studies to mm -hmm. sort of understand how we can incorporate targeted therapies and immunotherapies together, mm -hmm. but right now simply just combining them and treating continuously may not be the right approach. Great. Well, again, thank you so very much, Dr. Shaw, for being with us You're today welcome. with Hope with Answers.